What's up, y'all? Back in the kitchen once again. You already know who it is. Your girl Tion. I can only be me. So today we're gonna be making some um salmon and rice. Let's get on to this video. I just want to show you how I make my sauteed salmon and rice. Okay, so I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming back. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for all the love and support. Let's get started. The kind of, um, I have some mackerel. And this is the chicken of the sea mackerel. But I also use the pink salmon, the double Q salmon. I use that. So, don't be discouraged about what kind to use. It's just whichever one that you like. Okay? So, I like this one and I like the pink salmon. The WQ salmon, that's the only two I've tried. So, if you want to try the ones that, I rec that I've tried, then go right on ahead. But, the taste is the same with this one and the WQ pink, double Q pink salmon. And you can purchase this from Walmart. Okay, so I'm, I have it already open. I'm gonna empty it out of the can, and so the bones and stuff I'm in between the fish. This is what you have when you empty it out of the can. You have little pieces of salmon. Okay, so the bones and stuff um, is soft. You're not gonna choke off of them because they break down as you cook it. But what I do is I just pull out as much of it as I can. You know that line that strip and it's like that in every piece of them so i just pull it out with my hand and get rid of that and also i try to get off as much as this black whatever this stuff is on the salmon it's a i'm, I'm quite sure it's a part of it and um i just scrape that off and get rid of that too so this little black stuff right here the little film all that will slide right off if you just take your time and just try to get it off so now that i have that to go in that i have some red bell pepper yellow bell pepper green bell pepper and some green onion and some lemon slices but if you have like the juice of lemon you know that comes in a bottle or whatever you can use that but i have lemon slices so to this pan i will be adding some butter now you can do it with some olive oil if you would like but i just add some butter you know just to have some kind of oil to the pan so i use butter and it gives it a good taste all right and the seasoning that we're going to be using is some Slapping Mama seasoning. But if you have the Tony's Creole seasoning, this is my favorite seasoning. This is what I will be using. But I have a Slapping Mama seasoning. Slap Your Mama seasoning. But this is what I would be using. But I am unfortunately out of it. I don't have nothing but a little shake down in there. Not even enough to tie my seasoning with. So, I don't even think it's a little shake. But anyway... Um, this is, this is the season that I will be using if I have some, but I don't have any. Okay. So I'm using the slap, your mama, slap your mama hot and it has like a good flavor to it. And this isn't salty. I thought it was salty. I've tried it, um, on one of my recipes back on the, um, roast. I think it was anyway, it was one of them. I tried it on one of those recipes back and you know, to see what it was like, but it's not salty at all. But anyway, so slap your mama, obey, onion powder, black pepper, and garlic powder. Okay, and that's all we use them. Add your little oil to your pan, butter, what have you, and we're gonna get started. Okay, so I melted my butter down. Y'all can see now. So I got the butter in the pan, right? Before we put the salmon in, what we're going to do is we're going to add the bell peppers and the onions to the pan. And sweat those down a little bit. We're going to add our 
seasonings to this pan too to get them all warmed up and a little toasty. So I'm going with a little onion powder. We're going to go back and add some more onion powder. Some of the slap your mama seasoning. Just a little bit because you don't want to be too heavy handed with these seasonings because salmon can get salty real fast. So I'm adding some of this garlic. And a little bit of this obey seasoning. Just a little tad bit of each one. And just go ahead on and sweat these bell peppers and onions. Turn the heat up a little bit more so we can get this thing going. How have y'all been? I hope you enjoyed your, I don't even know what day this video gonna come out on, but whatever day today is, I hope your day has been going great for you. And even yesterday, okay? Yeah, I hope y'all just enjoy the day or whatever. But uh, sorry, y'all ain't getting no Sunday vi dinner video. I was out of town and I enjoyed myself. Let me put me put it up here because I gotta see. Anyway, sorry y'all didn't get a Sunday video, Sunday dinner video. But I was out of town with my husband. We was enjoying our weekend, y'all. We had a good time. We went down to Destin. Um, I didn't go to the beach because. The weather looked funny to me. I was like, heck no. I'm not going out there in no, um, in no water. And the way that it was looking outside, it was like, it was just so misty and foggy. I was like, I've never seen it look like this before. I was kind of scared. I was like, heck no. I don't know if it's a storm coming or what, but I don't want to be out there in no water if it is coming up. And so we never did go swimming, but I did shop my butt off. I had a good time. I went down to um, the outlet malls and uh, well, both of the outlet malls that they had, and um, I went over to the Ross that they had down there. And when I tell you the Ross down there is the bomb.com, like it's nothing compared to the one that's here in my area. And that Ross had some of everything. I mean, that store was so big and it was nice. And it wasn't, it, it would have been so big and being so full of clothes like they had. The store wasn't messy at all. I really liked that store. So, we had a good time down there. I really did. We stayed down there Saturday night and came back Sunday afternoon. And before we came back, we went to the Old Times Restaurant on Sunday. We went to the Old Times Restaurant and um, the Old Times what is it? Uh, something in barbecue buffet. Oh my God. Every single thing in there, the food was good. That wasn't my first time going, but still, like, the second experience was just as good as the first one. That food was so delicious. Like, nothing in there was nasty. Nothing. I didn't have to add no seasoning, no salt, no nothing to nothing. Like, if y'all go down to Destin, y'all have to try that old time buffet restaurant. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. So let's get back to this right here. My, my stuff is frying up. I just had to tell y'all about my weekend and the reason why you didn't get no video for um, Sunday. But so, just in case this video might be for your Sunday video, okay? Um, you know, just since I didn't do a Sunday dinner video, all right? So now the seasonings is um, sweated nicely. And so I just added just a little tad more butter to it so that I have enough when I put my salmon in there because I don't want it to be just frying in the dry pan. So you need enough of oil in there so that you can um, um, saute your salmon in it, okay? So that is plenty enough oil if you can see. Butter. And so now I'm going to add my salmon. Break that down a little bit and now we're just gonna break this down a little bit and mix this on in with these bell peppers and onions oh y'all don't know let me get them for it drop 
my fork child on the floor. Like every time you try to do a video, stuff wanna get to falling over and dropping forks and spoons and it just can't be great. Just let me be great. Now you see how I just soaked up all that oil? Okay, so now we're gonna add back some more of our seasoning. So this is the onion powder I'm putting on here. See, you see what I'm talking about? Garlic powder. Slap your mama seasoning. Season it to your, season it to your taste, you guys. Season it to your taste, okay? But, and all in all, I probably use a teaspoon of each one of these seasonings, okay? All right. So I'm going to give that a good mix. And look at it. It looks so delicious, y'all. Look at those bell peppers and onions up in there. And that's how I like it, broke down just like this. Okay, so now I'm going to take my lemons and add them to this. And the lemon flavor is going to like dilute that fishy taste a little bit. And it's going to add more, another layer of flavor into it telling y'all you're gonna love it let me squeeze some of this juice out of this lemon tell me you're gonna love it look at that oh yes If you ever had fish with lemon, then you then you will know that it's gonna give it a better taste. And I'm just gonna leave it in now. Just like that. And pretty much it just has to be heated. That's all. And this is pretty and this is pretty much done. So let me taste it and make sure you have enough seasoning. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah. I'm telling you. If you haven't had sauteed salmon, just try it my way for the first time. I promise you, you will fall in love the first time. The first time you will fall in love. Okay? So this is done. I'm going to plate it up for y'all and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys. This is the salmon and rice that I have prepared for you. Um, I just made me some crescent rolls to go with it. And I hope you guys try this recipe. And it is very delicious, I'm telling you. Like, if you do it the way that I showed you, you will not just be disappointed. But it is very, very delicious. Like, the lemon just give it... Uh, extra mm, like it just does something to it but um yeah I'm gonna get in a little closer so y'all can see just try this and you will not be disappointed so with that being said I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel I want to thank even each and every one of you for watching this video if you click the link I know that you want to see some kind of salmon and rice recipe so i want to just thank y'all for all the love and all the support until the next video this is your girl tiana i can only be me be blessed and as always peace love and happiness